Hi guys, this is Tanya M and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on some hair that I purchased from Nadula. I did a review before about how the, you know, initial review uh, concerning how the hair came and whatnot. So I will link that actually, I'll link that um, above that way. You can go ahead and check that one out and before you watch, before you watch this and uh so yeah so if you also want to review on this unit right here this is a synthetic unit that i did a review on by zuri sis so it's for so for more details on this unit you can click the link above also so let me go ahead and give y'all um a rundown exactly what this wig what what i purchased and how i made this wig so this is by nadula um nadula hair is very popular for their brazilian curly hair and that's what I purchased. I purchased, um, what did I purchase exactly? I purchased three bundles and a frontal closure. One, uh, 16, 18, and 20 inch bundles with a 14 inch closure. All for $172.86. And, um, I'm going to tell y'all right now, like, I did not use all bundles, all three bundles. I think if I used all three bundles, it would have been really really thick it might have been way too thick for my liking i wanted i wanted the hair to mimic my natural hair um when i wore it curly and out everywhere and um hopefully one day soon i'm not i'm not even really into taking care of my hair anymore i mean i take care of it but i'll uh, doing all those crazy styles and twists and wash and goes it's just i'm too old i'm 32 be 33 this year Three growing kids. I got two that will be preteens this year, and one that's um, going to be turning eight. So who's a who's a she's a like, like me. Like she loves the, the hair styles and whatnot. So I'm always doing their hair, and I don't be feeling like doing my hair. Anyway, back to the review. So this is how I how this is how the unit looks afterwards. This is I used the front hole, and I used two. I'll say two and a half bundles and the frontal so this is how the frontal looks on the inside this does not match my skin color at all so the frontal does not match it's really light um it's a light weird brown it's like a deceased brown <laughs> um if it is brown this is actually it looks more for me it looks more like um um it's a, supposed to be like a translucent but it's not translucent it's more on the white side so I would definitely have to tint this. I did attempt to um, bleach this, bleach the knots. However, I feel like my um, bleach I didn't have enough of the liquid, and I, it made it too thick. I was I was too scared to make it too runny to so that way it would bleach through and the hair would be ruined or leak through and the hair would be ruined um, or I have like a bunch of blondes in the front. So I made it really I made it thick. And I put it on top, but it didn't penetrate to the other side. And I kind of don't. It kind of got the the a little bit of the knots on the back, but not all the way through. But I don't want to do it again. I don't want the hair to start falling out of the frontal, so I'm just gonna have to conceal it another way. And I usually just put on my pressed powder on the cap, um, on the lace. So yeah. I went ahead and sewed a elastic band to make it to where I don't have to glue this down every time I wear it. Um, I might do it some nights, but not every night. I didn't put any uh, combs in the back, although I might later, just so it won't flap. And that kind of annoys me. This is how the hair texture is. Um, I did wash the, the, uh, the, I think, yeah, I washed the hair before I did do the sewing. This here, if you can see, the hair on top is looser and bigger curls than the hair on the back. Also, on the top of the frontal, the hair is kind of straight in the in the beginning, and then it goes in the curls, which makes me wonder what exactly they do to get the hair curly like this. Like maybe the hair doesn't come curly, which also makes me scared to put any type of bleach on it. I don't want to overprocess any hair. It is supposed to be uh on like virgin hair though so um it's 100 human hair uh 
it's not claiming to be um it's not claiming to be unprocessed yes so let me see the con the lace is really soft so that's a pro um it's thin which is good because that means it's, it will be less detectable and um the con though was that it was a little bit too long so i had to like kind of cut out where my ears go that way it could actually fit um, okay and comfortable on my head so it was a little bit it was on the longer side the um lace frontal but i think most people you know tend to do something like that or they might i know i was watching a youtuber actually cut before they sewed the frontal down they cut it to fit their head but um for me it's like i like it to come down past my side a side of my ear to cover my sideburns so what I'm gonna do to conceal or make the lace with the lace uh, match mine completely, I'm going to take some of my foundation that I use and on a daily basis, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that with this brush. And this is a way to kind of like tint your lace without. Um, without having to go through that whole process. I know some people use tea bags, some people use um, hair dye, um, like semi-permanent hair dye, like a door in like a brown that kind of matches their complexion. I just don't know if I'll ever find anything like that. <laughs> like I don't have time to be sitting here to match it, um, hair dye up to my skin, my skin tone. Okay, so I got the, my got to be hairspray um, it's a blasting free spray and I'm just going to spray that from a distance just to set it and let it dry and then you're good to go. So that's how, you know, I do my frontals when they don't match my skin. So I'm going to take this unit off here again if you want to, uh, see this unit in action you can go ahead and click on the link above and it'll take you right there so being as though I put the elastic band on I don't have to oh the way caps look back I don't have to um glue it down at the moment if I don't want to this wig cap keeps looking back okay but I am going to show you what the wig looks like on for those who want to know like the curly hair. So if I would wear this out, I would definitely um, probably have to like just put some baby hairs down on the side just to conceal it a little bit better. So the unit did come, the front sole did come customized, um, the, but um, I did it a little bit better just to like make it look a little bit more realistic because it was like, it still had that grading effect like, but it was like nobody's pores or hair follicles holes are set up to where they're all like marching in the same row so I kind of like you know get a little bit more realistic a little bit a little bit more realistic so it didn't take long to customize it at all and this is the hair this is the hair on I love this hair so let's talk about the hair so when I got the hair um it was a little frizzy at the bottom um of the bundles I was like ah, I don't know how that's gonna maybe the hair you know is damaged or whatever I don't know so what I did is um, after I made the unit, I went ahead and did a co-wash. No, I, sh I shampooed it first because I didn't like the smell. I did I shampooed it first and then I did a co-wash on it. And I did I leave this sitting. No, yeah, I left it sitting for a little bit and with the conditioner on just to like let it penetrate the, the hair. And then I rinsed it. Um, then I came back and um, after it dripped dry for a little bit. I re-wet the hair because it had dried too much since then. I re-wet the hair and then I went ahead and um, 
added my the, uh, my um I added my um, uh, I added my leave-in I added my leave-in conditioner and some curl cream to keep the curls shut popping because these are curls are shut popping. I'm really pleased with the hair. At first, I was iffy because of the way the hair right here at the top is kind of flat and then it goes curly. But I think it gives it a little bit more. I think it gives it a little bit more control look a controlled look, which I like. And you could also always take a pick and kind of like fluff it out if you want to be a big hair. I'm not really in the big hair, so I can't tell you. Um, this is my first time actually putting the unit on my head. So I'm not sure as far as um, is it going to tangle. I mean, it's a curly hair wig. You got to think about these wigs like they're your own hair. You got to think about them like they're your own hair. So if your own hair... Um, if you know that your if if your own curly if you know your curly hair tech if you don't take care of your curly hair it's gonna mat up it's gonna the same thing's gonna happen to this hair you have to take care of your hair I got the 16 18 and 20 inch with a 14 inch closure um I guess stretch let me see I did cut some of the hair off because it was I don't know it is stretched it is 20 